Hey guys, this is Josh with Pixelated Hobo. Today I'm going to show you how to separate signatures or writing from a background and so you can put it on documents like this one. I took this picture with my iPhone. It's not very high quality, but I wanted to show that anybody with a simple camera could could very easily do this as long as they have Pixelmator and the picture of their signature. Our main objective here is to bring the contrast between the signature and the background so high to make selection of the signature extremely easy. So what we're going to focus on is making the background um, very white and the signature very black. That's an easy way to say it. Let's go ahead and we're going to just grab our crop tool and I'm going to crop it down right here. You're going to select and just I'm going to click enter. You can also press crop up here but enter is easier. Let's go ahead and put curves into this and we're going to make an S curve and what that means is I'm just going to drag this up a little bit, make the whites a little brighter and down here make the darks a little darker. I'm going to drag it over just a little bit. You're going to want to try to make the background as white as possible and the signature as dark as possible and you're not going to get it perfect but I think that's going to be okay. There's a lot of contrast between that. Now in your effects browser, make sure your adjustments are set to color adjustments. We're going to go ahead and drag this black and white straight onto the signature. And let's move this up. Let's bring the contrast up a little bit. Um, bring, I'm going to bring the brightness. Uh, now we're going to leave the brightness where it was. That should be okay. Now we're going to grab what's called the burn tool over here. Now what the burn tool does is it makes shades darker and what you can do with the burn tool that's very special is you can purposely target different shades. Um, you can target highlights, you can target midtones, or you can target shadows. I'm going to go ahead and target shadows. We're going to want to make the darker areas even darker and the darker areas right now are the signature. So you see this L right here? It's, it's, it's a little light in places. If I drag, click and drag over it, you notice it gets a little darker. And we'll do it over here too. And I'm going to make this smaller um, by using my brackets. The left bracket makes it smaller, the right bracket makes it bigger. And I'm going to go ahead and get it right down there. And that should be fine. Now, this is the burn tool. The opposite of the burn tool is going to be your dodge tool. Now, the dodge tool makes shades brighter, and you can target areas too. We're going to go ahead and target the highlights. I'm just going to drag across and we're going to work on this. Work on this a little bit more. And you're going to want to make that as close to separate as possible. As you can see, the white areas are very white. The dark areas are very dark. We can do that. And that should be good for now. What you're going to want to do now is go up to the edit menu. You're going to press select color. We're going to go down here and we're going to press, find somewhere that says 000, that's the hex code for black. We're going to go ahead and click that. We're going to bring the radius up a little bit. This will show you um, how much the radius selects. And, uh, about right there should be good for mine. Now you're, you're going to dodge and burn a little bit differently than I did. So um, just eyeball it. And for me, I think around 70% should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and press select. I'm going to go over here to the background layer and right in this little gear I'm going to go down and press add layer mask. What what a layer mask does is it hides everything that is not selected currently. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Layer mask is the second square on your layer and you'll notice it is hidden perfectly. And that is exactly how you separate a signature from the background. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to my blog. I release freebies every Monday. I release tutorials every Tuesday, Thursday. I release quick tips every Wednesday and free resources every Friday. There's something for everyone, whether you're a beginner or an expert. Come join my blog.